Alright, Art Peeps, so what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you guys how to grid an image. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is I've, for this demo, I've actually set up my grid so they align pretty well. Um, I do want to make sure wherever I start drawing my drawing, <laughs> my picture here, that it's going to fit on my page. I know this is going to fit. Now remember for your uh, final project, you would actually be working on a larger sheet of paper. I just need to do a smaller one so it fits on the demo screen. So I'm going to mark where I'm going to start here, and I'm going to start in a similar grid. I've turned it upside down in order to make it more difficult to recognize, because remember, anything that makes it harder to recognize makes it more likely that your left brain will go, I don't care about this, and let your right brain draw, and that's what we want. I'm also going to use a blocking tool and I've just cut out this corner of this paper here. So I'm going to block off almost everything. And you can see that instead of having this huge complex drawing or to have a whole bunch of uh, squares which will drive some of you crazy because some people, your brain just wants to see all the information. It doesn't want to break it down into pieces and the squares make it confusing. So block it off. Now, it's not confusing. All I have to do is draw this one line. This line's way less intimidating. So the number th one thing we want to do is we want to mark where these lines cross the edge of the square or cross the edge of the grid before we draw them. This is key. Okay. So what I'm going to do, there's my halfway point in my grid. It's about half of that. So we'll come over here. There's the halfway point in my grid, about half of that. And I'm going to put a dash not a dot, the dash shows me the direction the line is going, it takes the exact same amount of time, gives me more visual information, why not? Okay, so over here, there's my halfway point, it's actually just pretty close to the corner, so I'm going to put my dash in pretty close to the corner, and then you talk yourself through what the line's doing. So the line comes down to the right, curves a little bit more to the right, okay, so down to the right, curves a little bit more to the right. Coolness. And I'm going to work my way around the edge first. It's just easier to work your way around the outline, get the outline done, and then move on from there. So I know where I'm starting. I'm going to mark where I'm going to. It's right near the corner, right near the corner. OK, so what does my line do? It goes up to the left, and then curves up to the right, and then has a bump. If you talk through what the line's doing, or if you take your pen, or pen, actually you'll take your pencil, and trace over what the line's doing, this will focus your attention on the details. You will draw much more accurately. The biggest problem is most people, they just don't slow down. They're like, there's a line, and they get it wrong. Okay? So trace what the line's doing, talk yourself through it. So up to the left, then curves up to the right, and then there's a bump. Up to the left, curves up to the right, there's a bump, and I go out here. Because remember, if you know where you're starting and you know where your line is stopping, you cannot get very far off track. I move to the next one, and I just keep going. I mark where my line crosses the side. This one's pretty easy, just up with a slight bump. Go to the next one. Same thing. There's my halfway point, a little bit left of that. There's my halfway point, a little bit left of that my line in, talk myself through it. Up to the right, straight up, up to the right, straight up. Up to the right, straight up, up to the right, straight up. So you would continue and just keep going around. Um, you're going to find it harder when you see things you can recognize that are like a hand or a foot or a face. Uh, when that happens, as much as you can, tr try to ignore what it is. Just do one line at a time until you move your way around. Okay. Once you've finished your outline, go back and start looking at your details. Now, this square doesn't have much in it, but it's got a little bit, I guess. So down here near the bottom, down here near the bottom. All right, I think I can just do that. Boom. OK. Let's go to this one. We never did this one before. Actually, here, we, since we already have this one done, I will go to here. OK. So what I'm going to do right here near the edge. Pretty easy on that one. Okay, this one, I want to be more careful with. There's my halfway point, just a little bit left. There's my halfway point, just a little bit left. And sometimes people are like, man, this is going to take me forever. Will it take you a little bit longer? Yes, it'll take you a little bit longer. But you know what? You're going to draw it way more accurately, and you're going to get it right the first time. Now, here's the other thing you do. There's my halfway point in my edge, right, in my square. A little bit lower, halfway point, a little bit lower. So there's the top of my circle. I got 
where it starts, how far it goes up, where it goes out, life is a lot easier. This, I just kind of look at in relation to my outline and my grid that I already have here. There we go. And we just keep going. Okay, so there's, there you go. Use your blocker, turn stuff upside down, mark where your lines cross the edges of your grid before you draw anything. That is the most important thing that you can do. All right, go for it.